When she's under your bed, she'll find your old tap shoes. She'll try them on. She'll probably need something special to wear with them. When she's all dressed, she'll ask for some music. You'll play your very best piano piece and she'll start dancing. She'll want to build a treehouse. Mm -hmm. 
So you'll have to get her some wood, a hammer, and some nails. Wood. When the tree house is finished, she'll want to decorate it. She'll ask for wallpaper and glue. Add glue. When she hangs the wallpaper, she'll get all sticky. Feeling sticky will remind her of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably ask you for some. I have another maple syrup. Ask for it belongs. Thank you. And chances are, if she asks you for some syrup, she'll want a pancake to go with it. Okay, now that we've finished the story, I have some questions for you. First, who are the main characters in the story? Lily, the pig, and the girl. Correct. What did the pig want with her pancake? Maple syrup. You're right. Now let's think. What if the girl didn't have maple syrup? What other things could she put on her pancakes? Yes, chocolate syrup. Chocolate syrup. Yum. Yes. Butter. Butter, always a good one. Sometimes I put peanut butter on my pancakes. Ooh, that sounds really good. I have to try that sometime. Okay, do we think the house in the story was the girl's house or the pig's house? Yes, Lily. The girl's house because the pig came to her window. Correct. And where do we think the pig lives? Lauren? In the barn. In the barn. Awesome. Okay, do we think the story takes place in the spring or in the winter? Yes, I think it takes place in the spring. Why do you think that? Because there's no snow and it's sunny outside. You're right. Does anybody else have an idea why it takes place in the spring? Yes, and he's not wearing a snow coat and he's not wearing any clothes. You're right, he's not wearing clothes and he'd be really cold if it was during the winter. What choice would you have made if a pig came to your window asking for a pancake? Yes, I would ask for bacon first. You would ask for bacon first. That puts him in a pretty tricky situation, <laughs> doesn't it? Anybody else? Would you guys share your pancakes with a pig? Yes, I would share my pancake with a pig. That's very nice. <laughs> How would the story have been different if the girl didn't share a pancake? Yes, Andrew. He might have got upset. He might have been upset. He might have been sad that he didn't get any breakfast food. Yes. He would go back to the barn and then he wouldn't miss his family. You're right, because it said he got homesick from his family. It's a good observation. Anybody else? Okay. Well, we're going to finish up today by drawing pictures of what else we think the pig might ask for from you. Does anybody have any ideas? What else do you might ask for? Yes, I think you might ask for a crayon to draw a picture. Crayons to draw a picture. Well, that's what we're going to do. So I think that would be a great idea. What else? Um, yes, I think you would ask for cookies. Cookies. We love cookies. Maybe yeah. the pig wants to go swimming. He might, because it's spring. <laughs> so it's warm outside. He might want to go swimming. Awesome. Maybe he wants his friends to have pancakes too. That's not his much. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe he does. I would want to share pancakes with all of my friends too. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs>